there is only one exercise that you must master before you start the back lever. If you master this exercise, you will unlock the full back lever quickly and you will be less prone to injuries. If you're looking to unlock the back lever skill, then watch this video. Hey legends, Felipe here. So as I said, the one exercise that you want to master before moving on to the back lever is the German hang. In this video, I will first explain why, and second, I will go through the German hang technique and progression exercises. And later in the video, I will give you a bonus exercise to do before any German hang progressions. So let's go. First of all, I need you to warn you that the German hang is not a beginner exercise. The idea with German hang is to hang in a relaxed position and in a seriously extended range of motion for your shoulders. This will put some extreme resistance on your shoulder girdle and most importantly, in the insertion of your biceps and everything around it. So don't simply go straight into the movement, especially if you have tight shoulders and very little experience with straight arm training. If you are a beginner, watch till the end of the video because I have an extra exercise that is made for you. Okay, now that's out of the way, the first question you might be asking yourself is why do I want to first learn the German hang before beginning with back lever training? The way I see it is, is that having proficiency in the German hang and also pulling back out of it allows you to work safely on the other back lever progressions because you have already prepared your joints and muscles to be strong in the extreme ends of the range of motion. If you start the back lever training with the first progression, which is the tuck back lever, for example, you would only become strong in that one limited position. So my suggestion to you guys aiming to unlock the back lever is to first get a 60 seconds unassisted German hang hold pain-free, of course. I'm using Olympic rings because they are much less demanding on your shoulders than the bar. I will leave the link to the rings I'm using in the video description if you also want good quality rings that won't break the bank. I'm using the 32 millimeters version because it just gives me more to grip on. I also suggest you start your training with supinated grip because that will put less stress on your elbows. Leave the pronated grip for the very end of your training. Now, the cues that you want to remember in the German hang are to always have your arms straight, elbows locked out, and relax into the German hang position so that you get a deep stretch in your shoulders. Also, make sure the shoulders are elevated and retract the shoulder blades, as this will help you open up your chest. And finally, make sure to have the hips extended, which is basically getting your quads slightly behind your pelvis. Cool, let's look at progression number one. You hold the rings with your palms facing the back and your knees on the floor. First, you start with the knees pretty much aligned with your shoulders. You start that to make sure you're not feeling any pain in your shoulders and elbows. You just want to feel a slight discomfort. Now, if this is too easy, move your knees back to find that discomfort. Make sure you are relaxing into the stretch and when you find a position where you feel the discomfort, that's where you're going to hold the position for 5 to 60 seconds, depending on how strong you are in that position. When you get to 60 seconds hold, you want to move your knees further back and keep doing that until and eventually you will extend your legs all the way back and hold for 60 seconds. When you're able to hold the earlier progression with the legs extended for 60 seconds, you can move to the assisted German hang. Hold yourself on the rings and roll backward from the inverted hang and land on your feet. That's the assisted part of the exercise. If you need a lot of assistance, use your entire feet to hold you. Again, hold there for five seconds to 60 seconds. Eventually, you want to hold your entire weight with just the tippy toes for 60 seconds. If you feel any pain in your shoulders or elbow, you stop immediately. Give yourself a two days break and move back to progression number one. Extend the legs for another three to four weeks. What we are doing here with the German hang is literally remodeling your bones and strengthening tendons and ligaments. It takes an eternity to do that when compared to strengthening muscle. So what I'm trying to say is take your time. The last progression is to go to the unassisted German hang. That is, you won't use your feet. So move from an inverted hang into the German hang, but this time with tucked knees. Hold the position for five seconds and complete it by touching the floor with your feet and slowly moving your arms in front of you. Progress until you can hold it for three sets of 60 seconds. One thing you can do to increase the strength of your lats 
in the German hang is doing the skin the cat exercise, which is moving in and out from the inverted hang into German hang. I've got a video exactly on that, so if you're interested in learning more, click on the card up above. Before we continue, guys, I hope this video is giving you value to help you with your back lever training. If it is, would you please press the like button to help YouTube show it to more people? All right, what if you feel pain even by doing the very first progression exercise I mentioned earlier in the video? If that's happening to you, then let's try the hands on floor, fingers back exercise. <laughs> it's a lie load on the biceps insertion and still a good shoulder opener. So I want you to first try one set of five seconds, that's all, and make sure you're not feeling any pain and then eventually you want to increase that to three sets of 60 seconds. When you get there and there's no pain, move to the first exercise in the progression list I mentioned earlier in the video. The back lever is a super cool skill, so try unlocking the German hang skill first and you will be on your way to getting that sweet and straight back lever. Now, you guys probably have heard of fitness FAQs. He has been publishing calisthenics videos for more than a decade. He actually has a front lever and back lever training program on his website called the Lever Pro. I bought the program and I have trained with it for five weeks. And you can see on screen right now my video review of the program and whether you should consider buying it or not. So if that's something of interest to you, meet me on that video. Keep progressing, legends.